Hi guys, welcome back to Wings Lecture. This is Vetri. Uh, in this video, I'm going to teach you that how to detect face by using OpenCV in Python. See, uh, in this method, I'm going to use Har Cascade classifier to detect the face and eye. Okay, so we know that Har Cascade classifier is an one of the effective object detection method uh, in practice, right? So uh, we can start by importing open import so cv2 right okay what is the first step is first we have to uh, load our uh, cascade files uh, because i'm not going to write uh, coding for um, uh, to implement a har cascade algorithm okay we have already uh, we have the XML file, so just we are going to load the XML file uh, because it's already trained. Okay, so it will be having more than thousands of uh, uh, positive and negative data. Uh, positive means it will be uh, it, it will be uh, having a true face, and negative means it will it won't be having a face. Okay, it's already trained. Uh, we are not, we are going to use that data to detect face uh, real time. Okay, now. So what you are going to do is write face cascade equal to cv2 dot use caps cascade classifier So here uh, we are going to load the file. Okay. So let me explain how to get the file. Okay. Uh, here we have I have the link. You can see here. So here I have the XML file. This one for eye detector and this one for face detector. Okay. So here they have used Adaboost algorithm uh, to detect the object, which is nothing but it here it is face and eye. Okay. Now. Uh, I will share the link uh, in a video description now just right click on this page save us go to your project folder and then click save and go to i detector right click on it save us it will be an xml file okay it will be having the numeric data for all the pixels you can see here okay now now what you have to do is uh, just go to the project folder so here we can see it right uh, we have a cascade for 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 a face detection and a cascade file for eye detection okay so now it is for cascade face cascade okay so just uh, type the thing that's enough right just right click it copy and paste it okay then do the same for i cascade equal to cv2 dot cascade classifier so inside to it right click on cascade i copy and paste it so now we have loaded uh, these two XML files, which was already trained, right? Okay, now, so we can start detecting the face by applying, by detecting the camera, okay? So first start uh, writing a code for detecting or accessing the camera, cv2 dot video capture. So if you are using Windows 10, uh, just you can simply put zero or uh, if you are using Windows 7 means you have to write this code without for uh, avoiding the errors okay cv2 dot cap d show that's it now we can go to the main part of the program so first what you have to do is first you have to create the loop right because we are going to uh, get the image from the uh, motion camera right 
uh, it will we have we need a at least we need a starting point and an ending point right for that we need a loop so i'm going to create a loop while one so before avoiding the condition i'm using one okay so first write the flag and you can use any name here like a flag like that you can use just for identifying a flag is zero it will get stop okay now i have to give the file name um, which is image i can give you can use any name also here and this two uh, is going to get imported from a read function okay now we have uh, got the images now then um, we know that if you want to pro uh, process the image uh, we have to convert the image to a grayscale format okay uh, because uh, cascade algorithm most of the cascade algorithms are um, based on grayscale images it will detect and it will process the image by using um, grayscale images so the next step is you have to convert this image to grayscale okay so we know the method cv2 dot cvt color and then you have to write the input so here you can see which is src which is nothing but source then so you can see the template and you can type the code so the code is which is nothing but uh, which uh, conversion method we are going to apply which is nothing but cv2 uh, which here uh, we have we are going to get the bgr image right bgr nothing but uh, is a rgb uh, but in open cv we used to call uh, that one as bgr and we are going to convert bgr image to grayscale so the method is very simple just cv2 dot color bgr to gray here we have many uh, conversion methods just choose this one okay that's it now our image has converted uh, to a grayscale format now next i'm going to give a face module okay see faces just i'm creating it and you'll know how to do it uh, when we doing it okay so face dot sorry cascade use this without a uh, spelling mistake face cascade dot detect multi scale so in here you are going to pass the image okay which image you are going to use uh, which is nothing but it's gray image and write down the scale factors so the scale factor you can use one but uh, now i'm going to use 1.3 or 1.5 that's enough then uh, give that neighbor as five okay so that's it next now i'm going to create uh, one more loop for drawing a rectangle okay so first i will i will detect uh, where, where where is my face and uh, i will detect uh, where is i in my face so we i have to give a mark like a rectangle mark uh, to the uh, face as well as uh, for the eyes okay so first create a loop for it for uh, for a rectangle we'll be having four parameters right first one is um, uh, right like x comma x and y and uh, height and width okay that will be for sides x y width and height so we are going to get this from faces okay it's already loaded here you can see it now don't forget to put colon now write cv2 dot rectangle so we know that uh, what are the parameters here we are having the parameters are uh, but we are going to we are going to apply it in, not in a gray image okay so we are going to uh, display it in a uh, received input okay so it's, it's in a motion input it's going to be image then so point one is x comma y and 
the rectangle starting point and ending point will be so we know that how the rectangle will be um, see uh, will be having four edges right it's a starting edge i mean uh, uh, left top corner and uh, we have to give a right bottom corner that will be x plus width comma y plus height so that's it okay and then read it uh, how, how uh, which color you want so we know the scale color scale format uh, it's a B bgr image right so we have 0 comma 0 comma 0 means we'll get a black image so instead of black um, I'm, i will go for red okay so if i put 255 means i'll get red and then put comma then write the thickness uh, we can keep it two okay next uh, then i have to de uh, decide that uh, i have to define that um, a region of interest for each object will be having a region of interest right uh, how it will be so just resign uh, design decide it or o i underscore for gray scale image for gray image gray y colon y plus h and for x x plus w which is nothing but width okay sorry that's it sorry here i have closed it now so we have to do the same for color image okay we're going to get this from image file normal image converting it you're going to display it right displayed on the colored image now so it's done for uh, face uh, if we start running we will get a, a rectangle on face data face mark then we have to run uh, we have to create rectangle for eyes also right so then write eyes then write it for uh, eyes here see here we have written for faces right so here I'm, I'm writing for eyes equal to so just write just copy paste the same I cascade dot detect sorry what's wrong with this sorry so here I have used minus cascade dot detect multi scale and then you have to give see uh, uh, here I have created for a new rectangle scale uh, inside to the face right inside to the face region so you have to write the or OI gray scale so here we have used a normal gray image a converter gray image right but here we have to get uh, from the uh, already marked image right inside to the face region so you have to use this okay now it will be same code like we did uh, in um, previous one so just uh, instead of using x comma y now i'm going to write uh, some different parameters ix sorry i mean ex ey and ew and e okay for in eyes in eyes so it's detected here so you can see it it's detected i'm going to use this okay so never miss the intent otherwise it will be here okay sorry now write cv2 so it will be uh, quite similar uh, which we had al al done already okay so cv2 dot a rectangle C 
cv2 dot rectangle so in here first in the first uh, input will be it will be roi color one okay and then comma see which one we already created so roi which is nothing but a region of interest okay then uh, write it down uh, all the same parameters here we have used x comma y then here you are going to use e x comma e y and e x plus e w comma e y plus e h right i think then so now we can choose different color for uh, there we have used red color so now i'm going to use blue color okay 255 0 comma 0 then write the give the thickness i'm going to give thickness 2 it will be same that's it so now i have to write a co i have now i have uh, mark both uh, rectangles uh, for face and eyes okay now i can go for print okay so after this uh, my program will get end and uh, now i am going to show cv2 dot cv2 dot m show so what i'm going to print is my image will get us output and comma image okay so we can go for wait key otherwise our camera will get closed as soon as possible now so as we as usual we have to release the camera sorry what's wrong with this cap dot release of and cb2 dot destroy what's wrong with these two lines dot yes I missed the indent and cv2 dot destroy all windows that's it so hopefully uh, we have completed sorry I have here I have missed the colon so we can go for run Yes, that's it. So my camera is not in right position. It's not detecting my right side eye. Okay, if we have good brightness, uh, definitely it will, it will detect it because of background. One minute. okay so still it's not detecting my right eye what's wrong with this maybe it because of brightness because I'm black okay now I have used my mobile see yes now it's detecting right so this is how uh, we're going to uh, implement the program for detecting a face and eyes right now you can close you can stop the so i hope you understood the logics and the proceeding of this program okay so if you have any doubts you can comment in comment session and i'll run it once again usually in node will be like without my face right 
okay so if you have any doubts you can comment in comment section and thanks for watching keep support bye bye